Hey guys, and welcome back to part three of our Battle Axe mini series. In this uh, section, we're going to do the texturing in Substance Banner. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, part three of our series. So, as you have seen, if you follow the other videos, in part one, we did our uh, low poly model, which is this guy right here. And in part two, we did our high poly model, which is this guy right here. So what's going on in this scene right here? Well, um, a couple of things are uh, quite important. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure that the objects are perfectly in the same position, okay? So if I hit Control Z to undo movement, they will be exactly in the same position. So if I hit four for wireframe mode, you have the low poly and the high poly in the same position. That's really important for the normal bake in Substance Painter, right? And the second thing you see is that the objects have been separated. So I have a combined mesh. These two are one uh, object, and I have a combined mesh here. And the handle and the blade are separated because when you bake the uh, normal, the handle will be sticking through this hole right here. And in that area, you're going to get some baking trouble. You're going to get, you know, uh, artifacts, noise, black spots, and so forth, right? So this is our starting point for Substance Painter. Now, you need to make sure, obviously, that your EV is properly done on the low poly. And on the low poly only, because on the high poly, it doesn't matter whether it's UV'd or not. So let's go into uh, UV, UV Editor, and have a look. Now this is the UV for our low poly and what you want to do is uh, check right here with these guys, especially this one right here, to make sure if you see any discoloration. If you see any uh, red or purple or whatnot, then the UVs are stretched and you want to fix that before you go out into Substance Painter, okay? So now that we have this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into Substance Painter, load this up and get started. Here we go. All right, so we're in Substance Painter. I'm going to go in. I'm going to leave this at PBR Metal Rough, and I'm going to start by loading up my low poly mesh. Okay, so uh, I know that that is called, and in the meantime, I got a bunch of files going on. Low poly new, that's what I called it. Uh, I'm going to leave all of this at default. I'm going to set this to 2K, and I don't have any uh, maps just yet, so I'm just going to hit OK. And there you go. So there is my handle and there is my blade, all right? Now, like I said, this is our low poly. So with that in mind, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in and we are going to uh, bake our normal. So we're gonna go and go to the reset user interface. So we're all on the same page here. And I'm gonna hit bake textures. I'm gonna set this at 2K as well. There we go. Uh, I'm going to leave all of this alone, and here I'm going to load up my high poly mesh. So I'm going to go to my high poly new right here. Uh, let's see, that's all good. Um, the uh, cage um, maximum frontal distance, which is kind of the space between the low poly and high poly, I'm going to increase that size a little bit to about 0.045 or so, okay? Now, I only want the normal map just now, so I'm gonna turn all of this off. All right, so let's uh, bake and see what we got. Okay, that didn't take too long. We're gonna hit C on our keyboard, and we're gonna do that a couple of times until we have our normal. And this normal looks normal, which is cool. Alrighty. So now that we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back into Maya and we're gonna get our handle and our uh, blade uh, combined again. And keep in mind that the other uh, maps are baked based on our normal map, okay? So now that this is in place, we can go back into Maya, hang on. Okay, uh, that's where we were just now. I'm gonna go into mesh and uh, separate. And I'm going to take this low poly blade, bring that over here. And I'm just interested in this high poly one. So I'll move that out of the way. Yeah. And I'm going to move this into a position that is correct and suitable and so forth. 
So you had four for wireframe mode. We're gonna bring that in. We're gonna bring that up. And just for comparison, I wanna make sure that I have the correct height. So we'll uh, just get rid of this for a minute. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into file and uh, import, and I'm gonna go with a combined model. Uh, let's see, the poly combined. Let's try that again. I want to make sure that I got the uh, OBJ and not the MTL, okay? All right, so now we can go and compare these two. Have to zoom in, and that is perfectly aligned. And that is now aligned as well. All right, so now that we have that, we can take these two, bring them back out, we can delete that one and that's all good and now we can go to mesh and combine file export selection and i'll call this uh, low poly combine and i'll overwrite that one all right so now when we go back into substance painter this is where we left off. What we can do is we can go up to uh, edit. We're gonna go to project configuration. And uh, instead of the low poly new, we're gonna select the uh, low poly combined OBJ right here. Get rid of that and open that up. And we're just gonna simply hit okay. And now we have everything in the right place already. Now, we still are in our normal map view. We don't want that. So I'm gonna to go to viewer settings and I'm gonna go up here and instead of solo, I'm gonna to go to material, okay? So now we have our low poly model. We have a normal map baked based on our high poly model. And now we can bake all the other maps accordingly, okay? So uh, once again, I'm gonna go and reset my UI. I'm gonna go to uh, bake textures and I'm gonna turn off normal. And I want, uh, I don't want the ID. I want ambient occlusion, curvature, position and thickness. All right, so let's uh, bake that out. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, cool. Okay guys, well, it's uh, texturing time. So uh, this is where we left off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by going to our materials right there. And I'm gonna look for steel, just plain steel. I'm gonna left click and drag and drop that in. Now that's gonna work fine for our blade, but not so much for a handle. We want that to be wood, obviously. So I'm gonna go in and add a wood material we're gonna bring that in like so. And what I want is for my steel layer to be below my wood layer. So now everything is wood, okay? Now, uh, that's not ideal obviously because this should be steel. So I'm gonna select my wood material. I'm gonna right click and go to add a black mask. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go to um, my polygon fill mode, all right? I'm gonna select the third icon from the left, like so, and then I'm gonna click on the handle. So now my handle is nice and wood. Okay, now let's tweak that a little bit. So we're gonna go out of this mode into uh, not projection mode. Let's go into, yeah, there we go. And I want to turn that off. There we go, yeah. All right, so let's tweak this wood property a bit. We're gonna select the wood, we're gonna go in, I'm gonna push that color until it's really dark, like so. And I also want to change the, uh, the grain direction, okay? So I'm gonna go up to UV rotation, and by tweaking that, you see that the, uh, the flow of the wood has changed as well. 
which is exactly what I want. And that said, and uh, that's looking good. I'm going to go and work on my blade, right? So I'm going to go to my steel blade right here. And let's start by adding some, I don't know, dirt to it. Okay. So uh, let's see, we're going to go in and we're going to create a new layer. There we go. Yep. Painting mode. Okay. So, um, yep, yep, yep. Um, grunge. So let's go to grunges. I'll take dirt number three. I'm going to go in and increase the size quite a bit, maybe even more than that, but I'm going to push down the flow just so we have some really faint dirt going on. And while we're at it, let's add a little dirt to our handle. Okay. And typically you would do that down here for the simple reason that that is where you would hold on to it. Not quite sure whether, okay, I need to move that layer up. Otherwise we're not going to see it. There you go. Okay. So now you can see it quite nicely. All right. And everything has to be in correct order, otherwise it's not going to work. Now let's uh, create a new layer and we're going to add some blood. So add a new layer. There we go. We're going to take a different color. Let's do red. Kind of makes sense, right? There we go. And you know, you can be as creative as you want. And you can even do that in one go if you like. You can just change that to black. And you know, change it to red. Until you're happy with the level of detail that you got, right? Okay, so let's say that this is our battle axe. So what we can do next is we can go in and render this, right? Now, obviously you need to take your time and, you know, make sure you're happy, but this is the method uh, that's important and not necessarily the end result. So let's see which side we like best. I kind of like this. All right. So what I don't want is to see that entire background there. So I'm going to go up here. And uh, let's see, I'm going to go into this menu right here. I want to clear color as a background instead. Let's, I'm not sure whether we're going to go full white on that, but that kind of looks okay. Then uh, let's see, I'm going to change this environment here to something else and just see how that works out for us. There is some change. I'm going to increase the environment exposure so we can see our weapon better. Like that, maybe choose another one that's slightly better that could work yeah let's do that one all right so it's still rendering i'm going to increase the minimum samples uh let's see what else we're going to do not 100 percent satisfied with the angle just yet And if you hold down shift, it will snap. Yeah, okay. I'll stop fooling around with that. So position is okay. Uh, one more look at lighting. Not too much. Uh... Yeah, I'll go with that. All right, we'll push that up like so. 
and we'll uh, go into post effects. Let's add a little vignetting here. Not really seeing it, but that's fine. And we'll just have this render out, okay? Well, guys, there you have it. There's our final uh, axe. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, short little series. Um, if you did, please, uh, please hit that like button. And if you don't want to miss out on any videos in the future, please subscribe. Okay. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye.